got a perfectly good box right here. No shrapnel through it, nothing. We are gonna see how much fragmentation comes off this steel plate with the buildup coat. Alright, we got a 22. Let's see what happens. A hole through our cardboard for bullet in right here. No spalling on the sides yet from this. Take this plate out. We can see a little indent right there. That 22 went in. Did not break the coating at all. No dent at all on the backside. All right, we got 124 grain FMJ 9 mil. Let's see what it does. Knocked it over. Got our entrance through the box. Got a hole right there on the sticker. I'm not seeing anything coming out of the sides of the box or the bottom yet. Um, decent little hole right there on the plate. Tiny bulge, you can feel it from that spalling picking up under it, but coating still holding on good. No back face deformation. Let's see what else it can handle. We got 223 FMJ at about 25 yards. We've got our entrance hole right here. Um, kind of messed up the sticker. Um, no spalling coming through the box yet. Um, we got our hit right here. I don't know if you can see that. Just under the sticker, there's a tiny hole. Um, still no spalling coming out of the sides. Um, the sticker's kind of coming off, but I still, I don't feel any back face deformation right where this round hit. There's nothing, no denting going on there out of an 11.5 inch barrel. All right, same thing. We go in 62 grain green tip. Uh, still have an 11.5 inch barrel at 25 yards. Knocked it over again. Um, out of the bottom. Ooh, we have some spalling coming out that top corner right there. Um, Everything else looks fine on the box. I can't really see, but there, there's a hit right here, the top part of the plate. And I don't see any break in the size of the buildup coat yet, but it did look like some came out right there. Um, still no back face deformation, holding up pretty good. So if you guys can see, there's two holes right here where that green tip hit. It hit the plate, uh, broke and spalled and came right out of this side hole right here. And I just knocked out a tiny piece of frag, but it hit there and came right back out. So now we're shooting M885A1 out of a 11.5 inch also from 25 yards. Right here, I hit the box, came in. Um, looking at the box, uh, we have a little more exit frag right here on the top, the side, the bottom. The other side looks clear. This is from the previous round. So there is a tiny bit of frag coming up and out, bouncing away from your face. Um, looking at the plate, we can see right here where the bullet hit, there's a little bit of a bubble on the um, buildup coat. I don't see any break in the buildup coat coming out of it. So it might still just be bouncing off the face. I don't see an exit, um, one from this M885A1, like this, uh, the green tip over here. 
Um, also, no back face deformation. All right, next up, we got 762 by 51 um, M80 ball ammo. Um, let's see how that does at 25 yards. Out of the 18 inch 308 a yard. box compared to all the other rounds um ooh, took a chunk definitely took a chunk out of the build-up coating on this plate but first i'm um, looking at the box no spalling came out the sides nothing made it through the box uh there, there are a couple more spots where spalling came out the top but those are very minor um nothing out the front if you look on the look here you can see those powder burns where it basically flaked parts of that plate off started chipping away um, and then when we look at the plate we got a pretty good chunk taken out right there at 308 it's a lot harder but um, a little bit of back face deformation nothing bad fairly close to an edge hit still did not crack through the sides it just blew the front off not too bad and next up we got 762 by 54R, whatever the heck this surplus ammo is. I think it was <laughs> we got a bottom hit for this one. Um, no spalling coming out of the bottom or the sides of this box. Nothing made it through. We had a bottom hit right here. It took a chunk. If you look real close, you can see a lot of that coating, the jacket, um, getting caught in there. But for the most part, that, that held up. It didn't blow out the sides at all. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it did. Okay, we're starting to blow the whole front build-up coat right off this plate. And, yeah, that's what I figured that would do. Um, especially near the side but still even even though when it's cracking this build-up coat off no spalling came through the bottom of the box super low hit on this plate and it's holding up fine if you look right here that's where the bullet went in and it deflected off upwards and okay actually we did catch a lot more fragment right here through your chin it's coming up up and out um, so that is where that frag went see right here the build-up coat started to crack if you look in the box right in here uh, that little powder steel dust is flaking off but nothing poked through the box so at first we just saw that it blew the bottom build-up coat off with the um, 762x54R, but it also is blowing the whole coating off the whole plate. Um, this is not going to stop much spalling anymore. 12 gauge, 1 ounce slugs, also at 25 yards. chin is not a part of you anymore you have got some facial reconstructive surgery going on there you're taking some frag to the armpits both arms basically yeah anywhere flush with that plate it's throwing frag off all the sides it looks like your leg might have survived but your upper body is not faring so well looking in here you just see quite a bit of frag hitting out and even right here piled up in the box you can see remnants of the slug just piecing everywhere looking at the plate oh yeah hit a little high right there and then it blew um blew the top off this plate and 
you see see the hit it didn't bend the plate a whole lot there's not much back base deformation but you definitely caught a lot of frag straight to the chin We have M855A1 out of my 14.5. All right, let's take a look. I see no more discernible spalling on the box. I think we hit it up here. Yeah, I think that's a new hit yeah. right there. You can see. Yeah. It. Feel the coating off. You can sort of see a bunch of the jacket in there. Yep, you can see. And it made a pretty good divot on there too. Just to chip out the front, but yeah. the back is still good. Back can't front. tell anything at all. Wind mag versus level three plus. All right, 300 wind mag versus three plus steel body armor. Take took the coating like right off right here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the 300 wind mag. Finally got still hardly any back base oh, yeah, deformation on that. It's pretty good. Look at Holding the wall is up. All right, so quick recap on all the hits this plate took. Right here was 762 by 54R, that was nine mil. These are 223, that was a one ounce 12 gauge slug, and this was 308. So we flip it over, we can see how these rounds are splattering off this plate and starting to tear this buildup coat off from it. Um, the larger the bullet, the more frag that's being thrown, and the sooner this coating will be ripped off but kind of cool to see these splatter patterns on it. Um, the plate itself held up fine for all these rounds. Um, this big dent right here was from 300 Win Mag. And this only thing else that really chipped it out was the M855A1 of, out of a 14.5 inch barrel. Um, took a little divot out of it. Um, that was your 762 by 54R. This was 308. They left little dents in it but nothing, nothing too serious, nothing else, hardly even scratched this plate.